Hi everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome to Proverbs Home. Today's just going to be a different kind of video. I got my magazine in the mail called Backwards Home. I get this every three months. It's one of my absolute favorite magazines. It talks about homesteading and, and caring for chickens and caring for your homestead. It has so much information in it. It has some great stories. It's just a really neat magazine and you receive it in the mail every three months and i really enjoy my subscription i haven't canceled it yet that's how much i enjoy it and i think because you receive it in the mail every three months you enjoy it even more because it's not just something they're throwing together every month and it's full of commercials you know how that is when you buy magazines and they have like all these advertisements well this magazine isn't like that and it is just full of information, great stories. And there's a page that I love and it's called Ask Jackie. And I'm gonna read a few of these questions and the comments that she gives because I know there's a lot of homesteaders out there and those who are into, you know, gardening and growing their own food and canning and everything. And that's what I love about their magazines. They actually have a magazine about canning and pantry and stuff like that. You've got to check out their website. It's called Backwoods Home. So I'll be right back and we're going to go on ahead and go through some of these questions that people are asking and see what Jackie says. So I have a picture of Jackie. I'm going to insert it up here so you can see who Jackie is. And um, she seems like a very nice person. I have not looked on YouTube to see if I see her and she has a channel on YouTube. I would love to join her channel. Um, so I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to read about canning yellow tomatoes. Somebody asked a question about canning yellow tomatoes. So let me go on ahead and read what the question was and what her answer is. Canning yellow tomatoes. The topaz tomatoes I got from you have been very productive and I've been freezing them to can later. I saw somewhere that yellow tomatoes need to be pressure canned, but as these are a heritage type, are they acidic enough to water bath as usual? Thanks for all you do and hope the rain we are having today gets to you. And this is by Catherine Jodal. That's the person that is asking the question and she's from Minnesota. So any of you that are from Minnesota that are watching this, I think that's pretty cool. And this is what Jackie says. Okay. That would be some yellow tomatoes and you can elevate the possible low acidic content by simply adding the recommended lemon juice or vinegar to your tomatoes prior to canning them. Yes, you can water bath processed topaz tomatoes. I make lovely multicolored salsa from them that's so pretty and tasty. Jackie. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I learned that actually I didn't know you could use lemon juice and tomatoes to bring up the acid in it to make it better so you can water bath it. Like I didn't ever knew that. So for those of you who didn't know, you can do that with yellow tomatoes. So I thought that was pretty interesting. It's always good when in doubt, check it out. When in doubt, ask questions. You know, find out before you start water bathing things. That is why I guess I haven't really canned. I've been watching videos for two years now. But I want to be ready before I just start water bathing. And I definitely don't want anybody to get sick. So I think it's so important that we ask questions. So even if you don't have a subscription to Backwoods Home, you probably could even ask her and send her, you know, a question and she can answer it for you but we have other channels on here also that can help answer questions for you to canning onions my question is on picked onions for canning I have a recipe that calls for three pounds onions two cups each white and apple cider vinegar and one clove garlic the recipe calls to cut in slices then separate into rings due to onions slightly bigger than sets to little smaller than golf balls is there any way to can them whole hmm as it would be extremely hard to work with such small onions do you have any recipes that you would share using onions this size whole thank you in advance for any help on this matter Really enjoy your articles in both Backwoods Home and Self-Reliance magazines as I get both. And the name is Ron Jansky and he's from North Dakota. And this is her answer. 
An easier way would be to cut those small onions in half. This, lesson, this lessens the problem of too dense food for safe processing. Heat your brine to boiling, then pour over your onions, leaving half an inch of headspace. Then process them in a boiling water bath canner for 15 minutes. If you live at an altitude of a thousand feet, consult your canning book for increasing your processing time. Do remember that this is not an approved recipe. Folks have been doing it for generations, but it still is not recommended, Jackie. So I like that. I like that she's honest. She tells the truth. She says, look, this is not an approved recipe. And that's what anything, anything you get, you watch on YouTube, anything in life, right? You got to check it out. We went, we have women's Bible study and we were talking about that. So many people don't read the Bible, right? And then people deceive them easily because they're not reading the Bible. Was, you know, it's the same thing with anything that we do here on YouTube. It's the same thing with recipes and canning and different things. Like if you don't ask questions to those people who know who have been doing it for a long time and then you just try something because somebody said it was safe, you could really be, you know, making a huge mistake. So that's why I like this magazine and I'm going to share more because I think it's just a really great magazine and um, it's great to share with you and let you know because I know many of you can and many of you have your own gardens and you know, there's things that you want to know. So let's do one more and then we will be done. Let's see. Hmm. This seems like an interesting one. And I think this is one that would benefit me also. Using a greenhouse. Let's see what she has to say. I have been following you for a very long time. And value your knowledge. Recently, we had a greenhouse built getting ready for my retirement. I have never used a greenhouse before. Can you recommend a book that can tell me everything needed to do it to do it right? Or give me some pointers. Thank you. Susan Edwards from Floyd, Virginia. So here we go. Let's see what she says. What you can do in your own new greenhouse depends on both its size and construction. Definitely. Do you plan on running it year round or just as we do? Use it from spring to late fall. We heat ours with a wall-hung propane heater and have doors on each end to open when it gets too hot. Hmm. There was an article on building this greenhouse in Backwoods Home Magazine, issue 186, October, November, December 2021. So you can see what we did. A good book is Greenhouse Gardening by Tyler Water, available on Amazon. Generally, using a greenhouse is pretty much straightforward. We try to keep the temperatures during the day at about 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and not let it get below 50 degrees at night. Watch the plants, especially on sunny days, as they can dry out pretty quickly. I water with a hose and nozzle I got at Johnny Seeds, which doesn't blast the tender plants. I wish you, will, I wish you well with your new greenhouse. I know I love ours, Jackie. Hmm. So I didn't know that because my I do water my plants every day and they've been doing good. My flowers and stuff in there, they have been doing good. It's been raining today a lot and which is great for the garden and the strawberries and stuff. It's really been raining a lot. So I'm going to go out there in a few minutes and I'm going to go on ahead and check my plants and make sure that they're okay. But I thought this was great to share with you and I thought it was great that the using the greenhouse, you know, it's always great to just gather information. And the more you know, the better garden, the better greenhouse, the better canning, the better homemaking that you will keep your home. So everybody have a great night. I hope you enjoy your day today. And I hope you enjoy magazine time with Lisa. And um, just enjoy going through this magazine and reading questions that people have, just like you and I probably have. So everybody have a great night and God bless you.